The American Red Cross is hosting its annual telethon coming up in March, and we're happy to have back with us Michelle Baer. She is the executive director for the Northeastern Pennsylvania's chapter for the American Red Cross. So Michelle, thanks for being back here on the program. Thank you so much for having me, Janine. It's great to see you again. You too. It's going to be a different kind of year with the telethon as we are still working remote. This will be our first virtual telethon and uh, we're really excited about it because we had to cancel all of our events last year um, and we have some pretty big events. We have a Heroes event in January. Our telethon is always held in March because it is March is Red Cross month. Uh, we run a, a wonderful marathon in May, a golf tournament in September, and also a craft show over Thanksgiving weekend. And of course, we were not able to do any of those things. So we're combining a very successful Heroes event with a very successful telethon on March 21st. And we're so excited that you're our partner on this. Uh, and we are seeking nominations of Heroes. Uh, and that is a, a very, very easy thing to do. Uh, all you need to do is go on redcross.org and it's NEPA, N-E-P-A, Heroes. And I'm sure you'll have the link up for the viewers. Um, and we are accepting Heroes nominations it could be a COVID hero, it could be a fire hero, uh, someone who saved a life during the course of the year, a community impact hero. Um, we are really open to anyone uh, that feels that there's a hero in their life that they want to be celebrated to please put in your nomination form. Um, how do people make the donation then? So we will be um, having some appeals throughout the entire telethon and we will have a live phone number that you'll be able to give a call uh, and also text to give during that specific day. Um, but anytime you would want to contribute to the American Red Cross, you can do that through our website um, at redcross.org. You can certainly mail a check either into our Wilkes-Barre office or our Stroudsburg office and just earmark it for the telethon if you would like to do that prior uh, to support our heroes. People want to know uh, where their money goes when they do donate and how does it stay local? We always honor our donor intentions and we track everything that is donated to the American Red Cross by zip code. So we know that when you donate, it's going to stay right within your county. Our footprint um, expanded this year. So we have nine counties now. We have Wayne, Pike, Monroe, Carbon, Luzerne, Lackawanna, Wyoming, Bradford, and Sullivan. And the telethon will reach everyone through Facebook and of course our media partners. Uh, so that money that you donate is going to help us to go where it's needed most, which is to disaster relief. Um, I, I did a very quick count before I got on with you today, Janine. We have helped over 509 families already since July 1st. It has been a very, very, very busy fire season since the weather has gotten so cold. And that money that is raised during the telethon is really you helping your neighbor in need. A home fire is generally the number one disaster in Northeastern Pennsylvania. We don't get a ton of hurricanes. Occasionally they come through, of course, um, but really the home fires are what we fund. And we are the only organization in the entire world that does what we do. Um, and so it's a really great thing when you are able to donate a little bit of your treasure to be able to help a community that is really very, very much in need families after they lose everything, um, it, that we really do rely on the generosity of our donors in order to serve our mission. Monday, March 21st, 3 to 6 p.m., go to Facebook, go to cable on Blue Ridge or Service Electric, and you'll be able to donate. You can donate anytime, as Michelle said. So thank you again for a preview of what's to come. And I'm sure that this area will raise a lot of money. We have a lot of generous people in this community. We sure do, Janine. It is a fabulous community that we live in. Thank you so much.